chiama Franco CFA. È la moneta coloniale che la Francia stampa per 14 nazioni africane alla quale applica, alle quali applica il signoraggio e in forza delle quali sfrutta le risorse di questa nazione. Questo, questo è un bambino che lavora in una miniera d'oro in Burkina Faso. Il Burkina Faso è una delle nazioni più povere del mondo. Per il Burkina Faso che ha l'oro, la Francia stampa moneta coloniale. In cambio pretende che finiscano nelle casse del tesoro francese il 50% di tutto quello che il Burkina Faso esporta. L'oro che questo bambino si infila in un cunicolo per tirare fuori finisce per lo più nelle casse dello Stato francese. Allora la soluzione non è prendere gli africani e spostarli in Europa, la soluzione è liberare l'Africa da certi europei che la sfruttano e consentire a queste persone di vivere di quello che hanno. You know what comes to mind when I see this? I see a prime minister that's talking to their people, I see a prime minister that is enthusiastic, that is passionate that wants to ensure that the future of Italy is successful and it is in a place that looks out for the best interest of their own people. However, when I take a second look at this, that excitement that I get from this quickly turns to dread because I then start to think Over the last 20, 30, 40, 60 years, 60 years of which a variety of African countries got their independence. At what point have I heard an African president speaking with such frankness, unapologetically, brutally, honestly, about the CFA franc specifically. Julius Malema aside, obviously he has his own focus within his region and his country in South Africa in dealing with the Dutch and the Afrikaans and whatever other European settlers that they're dealing with in the southern region of Africa. However, him aside, because he has always been someone who was never afraid to speak truth to white European power. However, who has stated something so frank and who has come out with such ferocity as this video, which one of our African leaders have done that? Why is it that the most ferocious response and speech against the CFA franc didn't come from a single African leader, but actually a female prime minister in Western Europe. It's sick. It's sick because the leaders within the continent, the presidents, and not just presidents, I'm done. And obviously we know leadership starts from the top, but I'm done. It's not just the presidents anymore. It's the politicians. Because if the, if the presidents of all of these different head of states refuses to speak truth to power, why are they not surrounded with other people who force them to? You see, the reason why the prime minister of Italy can speak the way that she does is because she's surrounded by people who want her to speak the way that she does. The problem that we have in Africa is that a lot of our leaders don't see the necessity to speak up for their people. And it's sad. 
It's a sickness. And I will just say for those who are younger, for the new black zeitgeist, millennials and younger, the time for being sad is over. The time for anger has arrived. We've given the African leaders so much time to stand and stay standing. However, for whatever reason, they refuse to do so. No, we don't want you to have small print articles here or there in an interview. We don't want you to speak on one issue one time, once a year, once every other year. We want you to speak to power every chance you get, every single time. Because the dire straits that Africa is in isn't a problem that is affecting you. It's not a problem that clearly puts you in harm's way. It is a, and that is the reason why a lot of them don't respond the way that they need to because they could care less. But it's time for us to stop giving them time to speak up. Time has run out. Years ago, the time now is for African youths everywhere across the entire continent to stand up and get angry at your leaders because it's not the West that's putting you back. It's your leaders who refuse to do whatever is necessary to protect their young girls, their young boys, their young adults, and the next generation. It is their duty to sacrifice themselves, yes, for the next generation. Some of them don't see the duty in that. Some of them believe they don't have that responsibility. It is incumbent upon the younger generation to stand. Because if we don't stand, the generations that come after us will be cursing us in our graves. It's not about us. It's not about the older generation. It's about the next generation. And with that, we must do whatever means necessary to force every single one of these African presidents that are so scared of speaking up to either speak up or get out of the way. Because it seems as though they're more frightened by the West and what they would think when they really should start getting frightened by the youth. Because it's come to a point now where over 75% of Africa's population is under the age of 18. And if we don't do what is necessary to ensure that Africa's resources are primarily extracted for the benefit of the youth, meaning all parts of the value chain from manufacturing to end product design, we need every job that we can get. Every single one. And if the African leaders are so afraid of saying, okay, the CFA franc is no more, don't worry. We will say it for them. And if they refuse to say it, may God help them. May God bless the next generation of Africans and may God continue to give them the fire that is necessary to enrage them and bring about a new future that will benefit the next generation. 
because we are all that we have.